they got together and swore a pact to the devil. They said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. Hmm. It's a true story. And so the devil said, okay, it's a deal. And uh, they kicked the French out. You know, the Haitians revolted and got themselves free. But ever since, they have been cursed by, by one thing after the other, desperately poor. There's an old saying that goes, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. It's an expression that certainly seems to apply to the people of Haiti. This is a country that was created as a result of slaves revolting against uh, the control of uh, colonial powers. The they, French. The French. And they never, they never really were able to move in, away from... Um, the, uh, to have a, a functioning state in an effective way. The birthplace of voodoo and land of the zombie, Haiti appears to be a nation cursed. The United States placed a, a blockade on Haiti immediately after its, its independence, a blockade that essentially lasted for 60 years. Marines land in Haiti to battle Haitian bandits, threatening destruction of American property. Voodoo ceremonies in Haiti were against the law. Were they? Yes, they were considered against the law. But they went on nevertheless? Yes, they had them all, usually, of course, out in the country, away from all officials. Dancing? Dancing and howling and whooping and various other things. In fact, sometimes it looked like they were very dangerous. Haitian farmers were determined to resist it. And so that provoked uh, a reaction in the form of a very severe neoliberal plan backed up by, by, by extremely violent forms of paramilitary coercion. The, the army and the Tonton Macoutes that uh, the Duvalier dictators uh, developed to push this process through. And uh, the result then was a um, you know, very severe level of, um, of exploitation and impoverishment, particularly in the countryside. And essentially, what he did was orchestrated or oversaw a policy of, of, of creating jobs, low-paying jobs, you know, sweatshop jobs, which then some facilitate some of the export, uh, export component of, of the Haitian economy at the expense of developing the, uh, the agricultural part of the economy. The UN, headed by the Brazilian military, that has been largely tasked with policing the social movement. Its main purpose has been to coerce the population into accepting the consequences of the coup. You've got to remember, the coup in 2004 overthrew a government that had been elected with a massive majority. It had at least 75 or so percent of the vote. It won 90 percent of the seats in parliament. And particularly in 2005 and 6, that's what the UN did. It went, it, you know, it patrolled Port-au-Prince, treated the population like a hostile force, and in, on a couple of notorious occasions went in and, and attacked groups of uh, people who... Um, who were some of Aristide and Lavalas' most, most ardent supporters and killed uh, dozens of them. French President Nicolas Sarkozy joined the chorus in blaming Haiti's misery on the supernatural, saying that Monday's conference should be, quote, a chance to get Haiti once and for all out of the curse it seems to have been stuck with for such a long time. We used to have a workforce called Free Workforce where people see you on the street, they look at your color of the skin, and then they brought you to work for free. That's what the slavery system. And because of my parents, that's changed today. Haiti play a role in the world, but you can't forget that. You cannot take that away from us. If it is that, because of that, you said, we have a curse, we have a contract with the devil, no, my friend. We got the freedom from God, right. because God created everybody equal. Exactly.